Well guys, it's just another rebuild video. I'm going to show you the same thing we do all the time. This is all we do. Wait a second. Let's start that over. Many times we just do a snapshot of a single job or a activity, maybe a team building event. I thought, let's have you guys track with us Monday through Friday and see what it's like to be a part of the team at Ready. We've got a lot going on and what better way to start than a team building event at Sweet Shots here in Fargo, North Dakota. Let's go. Hey, I thought you guys were supposed to be working. What's going on here? Working, we're working on the swing, huh? Nice. So don't be a victim of picking the wrong club. The first one I grabbed happened to be this one. Looks nice, right? But then they pointed out that uh, I was hitting with a women's woman's club. Gotta read first. Stick with the blue, stick with the blue. Russ, just pretend it's a hammer. There we go. Now, Well, that was a great time over at Sweet Shots for a quarter two team building event. But now we gotta get back and get some things done. First things first, we've got this 350 bushel cart that we just got from a farmer, pulled it out of the trees, putting it back together with updated John Deere meter housings that aren't too corroded. We're putting some stainless tubes in and we're doing stainless upper kits. And these are probably one of the nicest set of meter housings I've ever seen come off of a cart. A lot of times guys will switch these just because the half of disconnects are sticky even though they may not be completely wore out or corroded. So we got some life left in this. And someday, if it corrodes, then they can switch to stainless. Yep. Hey, who's in there? We got someone else in the cart. Let's go take a look. Good, it's warm down there. Hey. Brett's one of our service mechanics on the rebuilds. You may see him come to your farm if you schedule a rebuild, along with Jordan and some of the others but he was down the hole putting some nice stainless in. Hello! Woo! Certainly an upgrade from what was in there before. Hey guys, it's Tuesday! Time for another update. We've got a lot going on throughout the week and we do a lot of rebuilds as well throughout the week if you didn't know that. In fact, did you know that we do at least one big rebuild a week and oftentimes we're doing two to three totals, so a couple medium um, or small ones mixed in. Anyway, I wanted to check in with Chuck, our service director, who happens to be right out there in the field with the guys. Chuck, how is it going out there? Let our viewers know what you're up to. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Hey, you know, we're out here in Langdon, North Dakota, taking care of a Flexicoil New Holland cart for our customer, putting hydraulic drive on. And it's been it's been a little bit of a challenge. I've had a few issues with along the way, but nothing we couldn't take care of. And I've got it wrapped up and it's looking good. So if I flip this over, you can see the nice hydraulic drive that we've got going on here from Red E, best place to get it. And uh, if you too want a hydraulic drive with any kind of cart, we can set you up. Thanks. Back to you, Matt. Hey, thanks, Chuck. You guys, if you need something done on your air cart or drill, don't hesitate to call us at Ready. This is what we do every day, and we're all about helping you get your equipment up and performing the best it can so that your field pass in the spring or in the fall 
is the best pass it can be. Stay right here for Wednesday's update, which is right around the corner. Okay. It's Wednesday, you guys, and today we've got a special guest with us. It's Mark from Green Shield. If you haven't heard about Green Shield, Green Shield is a sprayer barrier that keeps you from over spraying past where you want to spray when you're in the field. That can stop you from spraying ditches where you're going to kill the grass and that's going to grow up as weeds or into your neighbor's crop. Who would want to do that, right? So anyway, hey, let's check in on their conversation and see what they're talking about. So there's a switch on the bottom. You need to use it right away. The guy said, well, I got a neighbor that's got a garden. So it's really more people just realizing, hey, I need this. So basically this one, you know, the blade sticks out past the end here. So normally the boom would be sticking out here. So in this one, I'll go out basically the same way. This one won't. A couple of the model sprayers, they have their boom stick and their nozzle will be way in here, but they got the boom sticking way out here. If any of you guys are interested in the Green Shield Spray Barrier, let us know. We are carrying this product. We're promoting it. We're going to be getting it into dealers and things like that. It's going to be a dynamite product. No doubt it already is. But uh, this thing has huge potential and it's going to go big. And uh, Mark here, he's a farmer. He developed it. He's put it on his sprayers. He's put on a lot of others, co-ops. But uh, this is exciting stuff. You may have seen it on Fast Ag, Tony Fast in Montana there. He put one on his sprayer and he really likes it. It's worked well. He's had some uh, social media posts about it and it's been on his videos. Stay tuned for Thursday's update coming right up. We packaged an order. Woo! Woo! High five, Weston. Let's go. It is Thursday and we are nearing the end of the day, but I wanted to highlight something. We've got Brian Sauer from Langdon, North Dakota, along with Chris Hoffman, and they're picking up some air cedar parts. In fact, it's a 2320 air cart. And so he came in, stopped in, saw us on YouTube. Hey, you're watching us on YouTube. And uh, we are going to load him and he's gonna be on his way. So getting some great solutions out to our customers. In this case, some gentlemen from Langdon, North Dakota, and uh, doing it with a smile. Ding. And uh, really excited. Weston here is loading them. We're gonna get that done and they're gonna be on their way. Anyway, hey guys, thanks for watching. Be ready for Friday's update right around the corner. Would you say that your experience with Ready was a satisfying one? Oh yeah, very much so. All right, good. Well, hey, thanks for stopping. Thank in. you. Yeah, I better yeah. come over too. We'll be back. That's a good one. Yeah. All right, guys, take care. All right, thank you. Thank See ya. You. It's Friday, welcome back. We are putting away a bunch of product that came from IAS, Intelligent Ag Wireless Blockage Systems is what that means. And we pre-order all of our wireless blockage systems so that we have them in stock for you. That is the goal, because too many times we've had it where we've had to wait many months just to get you guys systems. And so about a year ago, we started to strategize how do we have them in stock? So this is our pre-order of 70 systems for the fall. If you remember from our past videos, we did over 110 systems this spring alone. So if you have not gotten on the wagon, get on it. It is well worth the investment because it's so important to know that you're always seeding and what you're putting back there is, is going to get in the ground and, and come up. Hey, I wanted to show you guys, we have all kinds of orders staged. Most of these are big rebuilds that we do during the summer. The summer is a good time to get rebuilds done. So you can see that even during the summer, which is technically the slower months for ready, we've got a lot of activity still and a lot of orders that are being staged, mostly for rebuilds, but a lot of customer orders too that they're doing their own rebuilds. Weston, what are you doing today? Uh, right now I'm packing up a rebuild for a customer. So we put them all in this big crate so that it all is consolidated, easier to fork in, fork out, and also it stays more weather resistant so that way we don't get rain on it or snow in the winter and things like that all right guys that's friday's update you guys have a great weekend just like our team is going to have and hey thanks for watching we really appreciate you like and subscribe keep up on our content hopefully this was a fun video of showing you what we do during the week god bless take care